<clears throat> Hello and welcome. This is Noah and in this video we're going to go through key elements of quadratic function graphs in GeoGebra. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to look at this first example where we're going to graph quadratic function f of x equals 2x squared minus 5x minus 3. We're going to graph it in GeoGebra and then we're going to identify the following elements. We want to know the vertex the axis of symmetry, the y-intercept, the y-intercept's mirror point across the axis of symmetry, and the x-intercepts. So I've got GeoGebra pulled up here already. Let me actually just start from scratch. If we go to GeoGebra.org, right, that's where we go for our calculator, we'll start the calculator up. With the small window that I have, it's got the uh, function entry at the bottom instead of the left. And I'm just going to type in the function f of x equals 2x to the second minus 5x minus 3. And I'll go ahead and I'll move my function functions out of the way so we get as big a viewing window as possible. And we want to find uh, the vertex first. So the vertex, the vertex, it's the highest or lowest point on the parabola. Right, it's the turning point that we have where the parabola is going down and then it switches to going up. So it's this bottom point right here. And we see that this vertex is at 1.25 comma negative 6.125. The axis of symmetry, I'm going to actually graph it. It's the vertical line that goes through the vertex is the axis of symmetry. So I'm going to write x equals 1.25. The 1.25 I am getting from the x value of the vertex. So right here, that is the axis of symmetry. It's x equals 1.25. And on the graph, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, let's see. Look at its settings. I want to make it dashed or dotted here. And my goal is to really just make it distinct from the actual graph of the parabola. It's not part of the graph of the parabola. It's just the symmetry line where we can see that the parabola is a reflection over that line. If I folded this along that dotted line, the parabola would fall right on top of itself. All right, the next thing that we're looking for here is the y-intercept. So the y-intercept, I can just click on where the parabola is crossing the y-axis, and GeoGebra will show us that y-intercept. It's the point 0, comma, negative 3. And then to find the y-intercept's mirror across the axis of symmetry, I'm going to look straight to the right from the y-intercept over here, and this point is where we're looking. So... I want to say, if it's, I'm not exactly sure what that is. The x value is a little bit tough to see here. So I might say solve f of x equals negative 3. And the reason I'm saying negative 3 is because that's the y value of the y-intercept. So, I mean, I could draw the point right here. Uh, if I was on paper and I just like draw that dot, but I need to know the x value. So the x value is five halves or two and a half. So I know the y value is negative three. And then from this solving here, I see that the x value is 2.5. So I'll plot this in GeoGebra and I'm going to just write 2.5 comma negative 3 in parentheses, and it should just plop that point down for me on the graph here. I like going ahead and switching this to show value instead. And we could have done that for any of these points. In fact, let's do that. Let's call capital V for the vertex. That was 1.25 comma negative 6.125. And then we wanted the y-intercept, so I'll say capital Y equals 0 comma negative 3. And then 
we need the x-intercepts. So let's take a look here. By just looking on the graph where it crosses the x-axis, I get these dots popping up. I see that one of them's at negative 0 0.5, 0, and the other is at 3, 0. So I'll write these down, negative 0 0.5, 0, and 3, 0. And we'll go ahead and put those into the inputs for GeoGebra so we get those. I'll call it x1 is negative 0 0.5 comma 0 and then x2 equals 3 comma 0. And I'm just going to take the time real quick to show the values of each of these. In GeoGebra, so we can be clear there. And for that 2.5,3, let's change its name. Let's call this Y mirror, right? Y M. And for this point, I'll also show that label to make that a little bit more clear here. For when we put this into the OneNote, into the uh, into the work that we're doing over here on the left. All right, so that's it. That's what we're looking for here. So we just want to make sure that we understand how to use GeoGebra to find these key elements. And also we're using this to remind everyone what these key elements are. Uh, not every class talks about the mirror point of the y-intercept, but I hope that's pretty straightforward. It's just take the y-intercept and if I go straight across the axis of symmetry, then what point is that over there? And again, we used that solve op operation by knowing that the y-intercept has a y-value of negative 3. I can say solve f of x equals negative 3 to get find out what that x-value is for the mirror point. All right, that is it. Let me actually just real quick take a screenshot of this graph. And then I will go ahead and plop it down over here. And we'll call that a wrap. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. Go ahead and do the Now You Try problem now that you see in the mind map. And then in the next video, we will go through the solution of that. Thanks much. See you soon. Yeah.